Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today for the Color Fusers blog hop, we have been challenged to use silver seaside spray and blueberry bushel. What a beautiful color combination. I was so excited about this one because I had just a million things running through my head. All those things that were running through my head, that's not what I made today. I made something completely different, and that's kind of how things work for me sometimes. <laughs> I've been a little under the weather lately. Um, at, when this video goes live, I'm sure I'll be all better, but oh my gosh, this whatever I have has really kind of kicked my butt. So I'm a little bit raspy. I hope I don't start coughing, and uh, I hope you enjoy projects that I have to share with you today. Let's flip this camera around and I'll show you what I made. Okay, are we ready for take two? I started my video and I forgot to turn the camera on. So I am using the Mercury Glass Designer Acetate today. This is on the bottom of page 33. And you can see here that they made a little home decor item with the Peace on Earth with the Mercury Glass Designer Acetate in the background. Now this is some really, really interesting acetate. One of the patterns that you get is kind of like paint splotching. And the other one is a crackle design. Both of them have silver in them and they're see-through. So super, super interesting, right? You get two 12 by 12 sheets of each pattern in your pack of acetate and it is $11.50. I've seen some really, really neat things made with this. The other thing I wanna tell you about this is that um, there is a film that covers one side of this paper. And the way you can tell is if you just take your fingernail and rub it across where there is some splotches and then not a pattern, you're gonna feel the pattern. If you go to the other side, it is perfectly smooth. You can't feel anything. And if you want to remove that film, you're just going to grab some type of a little pokey tool here. And I might have already taken, I think I took this one off already. Now, here's something that's kind of funny. I'm really uncertain about the film that's on here. I know it's on here to protect this acetate during shipping, but I don't know why you can't just leave it on. So if you want to leave it on, leave it on. Oh yes, I do. If you try to punch this, you're gonna find that this film is kind of rubbery and it doesn't like to punch. So before you go to use it, there we go. I answered my own question. You know how you work through things in your own brain? <laughs> Remove that off of your paper and then it's ready for you to use. Okay, there's our little 101 on the Mercury glass designer acetate. Now I decided to bring in the Christmas Rose and this is from our Christmas Time is Here suite of products and I thought ooh, wouldn't it be kind of cool to see if I could do a little embossing on this particular product. So I had just a little scrap and I embossed this outline flower on here. I didn't have any problems with it. It worked like a charm. So then I went on to do a bigger piece. And I always kind of like to test things out on a little piece, right? Because I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe this paper would have melted when I hit it with my heat tool, but it didn't. So we're going to be using the rose dies and also the Christmas rose stamp set. And I'm going to bring in my layers here. I've got a whisper white envelope. I have a piece of our Whisper White Thick Designer Series paper. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half, folded it and burnished it before I turn the video on. So this is why we're doing take two, but that's kind of as far as I got. So whew. then I've got a scrap of the designer acetate. This is four by five and a quarter. It just needs to be big enough to fit our rows. Then I've got a piece of our seaside spray that's four by five and a quarter, a scrap of blueberry bushel, a scrap of our silver shimmer paper, another scrap of seaside spray, and a one inch by four inch piece of the designer acetate. So we're gonna, first of all, we are going to emboss our rose on here. And I'm gonna be using Versamark ink along with 
Whisper White Embossing Powder. And I don't know that it really matters which side we use here, so I'm just gonna grab one. I'm rubbing our embossing buddy all over it so that my ink will only stick to the image when I stamp it. I still have my Christmas Rose in my Stamparatus, which is great, because I was thinking if I tried to stamp this on acetate, which is a window sheet, I think it would be slippery. And you know that causes some um, smudging. So as long as I already have my rose mounted in here from other projects, I'm just gonna leave it in there and go with it. I'm going to ink up the rose with the Versamark ink. And we've got this pushed right up here in the corner. And I'm just going to stamp this. Give it some good pressure. You wanna make sure you get all the detail. And then we're gonna peel this off and set it aside. And now I'm gonna bring in my embossing powder. I like to put two to three containers of embossing powder into a, um, a container like this because then you can easily pour your embossing powder onto your stamped images and keep it all in the bowl, you hope, right? Doesn't always work that way. Just want to make sure I have everything here. Then I like to give it a couple flicks. Ooh, and that really takes off that extra powder that may have been trying to hitchhike around the outside edges. That's a good way to put it. All right, I'm gonna bring my heat tool in and I'm going to heat set this. I like to tilt it in the light and just make sure that every all the embossed images look glossy and I see one that isn't and now it is okay and that's how I kind of test it to make sure it's okay I'm gonna take the die that goes with this and we are going to die cut this in our die cutting machine and I'm just gonna get this lined up on here nicely and put a piece of washi tape on it just to hold it in place. And I think that should work good. I'll be right back. Oh, before I do that, I'm also going to grab this little scrap and I'm going to die cut some seaside spray out of that. I am going to also use the same image and die cut on here and we're gonna die cut a little label out of the blueberry bushel. And then I decided for my card, which I'll show you in just a second, I wanted some little sprigs. And so I went through my dies until I came up with the frosted bouquet framelit dies. These are so, so pretty. Grab a hold of these, here we go. Here are the dies that are cut out with this. So I'm using this little sprig here from the Frosted Bouquet. And I'm gonna do that on the Silver Glimmer paper. So I will be back in just a minute to show you all the pretties. Okay, we've got all of our items die cut here. Aren't those sprigs beautiful? Yeah, I just thought those are really gonna set off my finished card. And I love this too, that's part of the Christmas or the rose dies right here. You get this bigger one and this little one with these elements. Yeah, lots of pretty things in here. And then here is our acetate and look at how cool that looks. I hope you can see the beauty of that in the camera. Now, I'm kind of frugal, so I'm going to save this piece and I might be able to do some things with the outside. You know, you know how it's hard to throw stuff away, right? Okay, I also cut out a blueberry um, layer with this die. And here we go. Now, there are several different things you can do with glue and this designer acetate. Um, you can use your tape runner. 
you can use liquid glue and that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add a little bit of liquid glue because once it dries you cannot see it through here so I'm just gonna add my acetate layer to my blueberry bushel layer get that lined up perfectly and you can see how that blueberry bushel comes right through the um, paint dots or whatever you want to call them or the design I should say in this die cut okay we are going to where did that little piece of acid here it is right here I'm gonna add this little piece of acetate right to my seaside spray layer make sure that's lined up nicely and then we've got this beautiful metallic seaside spray ribbon and I'm gonna add a little bit of that right here like I said, I was super excited when I saw the color challenge because I thought, oh, this is so, so beautiful. I love these colors together. I thought they were perfect for a Christmas type card. And of course, you could change the greetings on this card and make it any kind of card you want. It doesn't have to be Christmas. And that's one of the things that I found I really love about the Christmas time is here sweet is it doesn't have to be about Christmas at all. I'm going to take just a little bit of this ribbon and tie a little faux knot here. And of course, when I saw this color combination, I knew I had to use this ribbon. This is also from our holiday mini catalog. It's so pretty. Now you can move this back and forth wherever you might need it on here, and I might need to adjust that just a little bit. And I think I think I'm going to add this right here. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back. Are you going, oh my gosh, how cool is that already? I know, right? I love this. Okay, this piece I would also like to emboss with white embossing powder. I felt that by using the blueberry bushel, it was just really going to make that pop. So we're going to find our greeting here. I'm going to stamp this with Versamark ink. And then we're going to add our embossing powder. Make sure you close that ink up. You don't want to spill embossing powder in it. Just trust me on that one. I know I've said it a million times, but it's a disastrous mess. There we go. Okay. We're going to heat. Whoops, I just smeared it. There we go. We're going to heat set this, and through the magic of TV, I already have that done. Okay. I had so much fun making this card because I think it's so pretty. I have another color variation to show you, too. I just put some snail adhesive on the back of my label, and now I'm going to bring in some of our silver metallic thread. And I'm just winding this, whoops, got it stuck there, whoops. <laughs> I'm just winding this around my fingers a few times. Maybe one more here. Hanging on to it, cutting it off. And now I'm just going to lay this on the back of my label. And I think I want just a little bit more snail right there, kind of helping this stay in place. Wrap this around again. I'm real weird about seeing these ends sticking out. I don't even know if you can see that in the camera, but I'm trimming it off because it bothers me a lot. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, how cute is that, right? Then we're going to bring in some dimensionals. And I'm going to add a couple of those. Oops, I kind of blew it there. Hang on. There we go. Okay, then our silver glimmer sprigs are going to go right in here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I want them to hang down here just a little bit. I want them to kind of pop off the die cut 
embossed image so they really stand out a little bit more. And we're gonna take a piece of tape and I'm just gonna tape them right in the middle of our rows. Here comes our greeting and this says, may this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. We're gonna put this right in the middle of our card. Well, maybe the other middle. That's not really the middle. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that middle, right? Get it on here straight. I don't know why I've really been struggling with this tonight, getting things straight. Okay, oh, beautiful, right? The only other thing I could think that I needed on here were some rhinestones. So let's bring some of those in. And they kind of stick with the silver theme. I'm just gonna put one right over here. Yeah, so pretty. All right, what do you think? Oh my goodness, okay. Before we adhere this to the front of our card, we're gonna stamp our inside greeting. And again, like I said, you could make this a birthday card, you could make this any kind of card you wanted, an anniversary card, a retirement card, whatever. But I'm gonna stick with the Christmas Rose stamp set. And I'm gonna do a Merry Christmas. And then, Hang on just a second. I gotta get a drink. My throat is still pretty sore. I don't know what I had or have, I should say, but I don't wish it on anybody. I don't get sick hardly ever, and this really kicked my butt. Then I'm just gonna take this and put it right down here at the bottom of my card because I needed just a little bit of embellishment on the inside. Now, if I had stamped this crooked, I didn't want to glue my front on because then I can turn this all around and use it as the front, right? So make sure you're not putting your cards together until you're all done with them so that you can save yourself from time to time. Okay, there we go with this one. And then the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to stamp up my envelope. I'm just going to clean my rose stamp here. And I'm going to take this off of my Stamparatus. And I've got it on a big block. I'm going to bring in a piece of paper and take my envelope. And I think I want to use Seaside Spray here. That'll be really nice and subtle. We're going to ink up that flower and we're just going to stamp it on the flap of that envelope. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? And how about... I'll do one more right here. And then I still need one more. Just a little bit to take care of this little top right up here. Okay, you guys. Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. I really enjoyed this color challenge. Here's another one where instead of using the seaside spray in the background, I used the blueberry bushel. That's really the only thing that I changed, and I put Seaside Spray behind the Mercury Acetate here. Super, super pretty card. I can't wait to send this for Christmas. I might make up some birthday cards like this, too. Now, remember, if you'd like to get your hands on any of this Mercury Glass Acetate, you can click right up here. That's going to take you right over to my blog. You're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. Click on that. Also, don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. You're also going to want to click on that link so you can follow along on the blog hop because everybody's making cards with blueberry bushel, seaside spray, and silver today on the Color Fusers blog hop. Go check it out. 
Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.